Greetings, legends. There's a bunch of all new stuff coming in this update. First, there's a collaboration with Warhammer 40K, featuring ships and commanders from the Imperium and Chaos. Then we're getting geared up for the 4th of July celebrations with early access to a pair of American light cruisers, the Lone Veteran campaign and a new bureau project. Let's check it out. Fight for Chaos or the Imperium on the high seas. Two new unique commanders and premium ships will be available throughout the update. The commanders, Justinian Lyons the 13th and Arthur's Rockthar the Cold, have unique inspirations and skills that will help you in battle. The two premium ships are like two sides of the same universe. They are the Tier 6 battleship Ignis Burgatio and Ragnarok. Don't miss out. To start off the 4th of July fireworks, the US Light Cruiser Line is arriving in early access. You'll be able to take command of the Dallas and Helena, both fitting in as glass cannons with limited armor protection, but awesome damage potential, especially when starting fires on enemy ships. The new Lone Veteran campaign follows up the US Light Cruisers, this campaign features Wichita as the main prize, an experimental American heavy cruiser that saw extensive service and even jeweled the Jean Bar. Wichita is a powerful Tier 7 cruiser with quick firing 8 inch guns and enough armor to stay in the fight. Last but certainly not least for the 4th of July, we have a new Bureau project. Now that you have the hang of using the Bureau, you can use it to start unlocking the California, a Tier 5 premium battleship with all-American characteristics. Excellent firepower and extremely thick armor protection. On your way through the project, you will earn permanent camos for your US ships as well. Get ready for an event-packed update, Captains, and turn the tide. Thank you.